Yikes. What's the hype? This is something like Yikes. Hello babies, it's your girl Shantae here and I'm coming at you guys with another video today. If you are new, welcome to my channel and if you are not new, welcome back. If you all are anything like me during this time of staying in place, sheltering at home, you have been delving into YouTube videos and I have seen multiple tutorials of this foxy eye makeup, get to look like Bella Hadid and have some snap snatch stuff and they're cutting off their eyebrows and they're like winging it out and making it feline and all of those things but I didn't really see a lot of women of color or people of color doing this kind of foxy eye look they're probably out there but when I searched it you know I didn't see too many people of color too many melanated people attempting this whole foxy eye thing so that is what I have for you all today I thought that I would attempt the look and if you are interested on in seeing how I made this kind of foxy eye pull out scenario on my chocolatey skin please keep watching before we get into the Fenty Beauty matchstick and this whole foxy eye situation, let me tell you what I have as my base. I went in with the Dior Backstage Foundation in 6.5N, as well as under my eyes, I have the Maybelline Instant Rewind Concealer in 149 Deep Bronze. And it's very similar to my skin tone, so I just did that under the eye and then went in with the MD22 from Pat McGrath right underneath there and just kind of lightly brought that out to kind of brighten it up a bit. Now that that's situated and settled, we can get into this matchstick, all right? So, Fenty Beauty matchstick. She came out with some new colors in the matchsticks. I actually originally ordered the shade Ebony, but Sephora sent me the wrong shade, and this was a while ago, maybe like a couple weeks ago, when this was the whole coronavirus thing was starting to ramp up. But they sent me the incorrect shade. They actually sent the deepest shade, Caviar. I tried to get the correct shade sent out to me. I contacted them. They went through and processed it, and the next thing I know, the order was canceled and they said that they didn't have any more ebony shades and that's all I really heard from it. I'm sure if I press, 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 I will be able to get the correct shade, but for right now, we are going to use what we have and that is caviar. So with this whole foxy eye thing, it just seems like everything is kind of like pulled up and snatched up and just like, you know what I mean? So not only are your eyes like kind of snatched up, but I feel like the whole face needs to be like lifted, you know? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little there, maybe a little here. I'm going to stop there for right now and like blend it out because this is the first time that I'm using this. I don't know how it's going to look. So I am just going to take my time with it I'm glad that she came out with deeper shades expanding that shade line and I think she had some in-between shades that she added as well I wish they gave me the ebony like I ordered a little deep it's definitely giving me contour and not bronzer I'm just gonna take my foundation brush nothing extra is on there but just to kind of blend it out so it doesn't look as harsh I really think the ebony would work out nicely I had the deepest shade which was espresso which was just like slightly deeper than my skin so it didn't really give me the impact that I wanted so I figured the ebony would have been a good choice you know the next step up but we've got caviar this is how she looks I don't know I say it's too deep and I keep adding more and more I know I don't know 
I'm just trying to snatch my face and really I'm still trying to perfect my whole like contour and all this stuff so it may not be perfect I'm gonna go back in with that Maybelline concealer just like the residuals whatever's left on this little piece and then I'm just gonna kind of chisel this out a little bit okay I feel a little I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier powder the deep one medium deep And we're gonna chisel out again. Oh, don't let me figure out how to damn chisel out my shit because it's done then. It's a wrap then. Let's see about these eyes. So, this whole foxy eye thing is about lifting of the eye, bringing it out, and making it very feline, very foxy, very cat like. I did something that I didn't think that I would do considering that we are here on quarantine and I guess I'm losing my mind. I cut off the itty bitty tails of my eyebrows right here. They would usually go down to like about there. So I did some slight cutting, brought it up just to kind of widen this space between the eye and the eyebrow right here. So that's what I did, and this is the general shape that I got. I'm going to go in with some random eyebrow. I don't even think it's an eyebrow pencil. I don't really know what it is, but I got it from the beauty supply store, and that's what I'm going to use for my eyebrows because it is dark enough because my brows are damn near black. And at first I was like, they're cutting off their eyebrows like I don't know about that but see how I'm just kind of adding that to kind of pull it a little bit pull it outward and I was like yo they gonna have me on here cutting off my damn eyebrows we inside but then I was watching like more and more videos and it really does give this kind of lifted look. So I was kind of impressed. So you see how I'm just like making it straight? Like I'm not curving or doing anything. I'm just like bringing it out. And I don't know if y'all watch Sandra Deluxe, but I've watched her for the longest and she's always had these eyebrows that go like shoo and pulled out and I mean they look good on her but I never thought about doing it on myself so grab my bushy brow I am loving this lime crime bushy brow I'm not gonna lie it's in the shade smoky the deepest shade they have and I am just gonna pull It just really makes them look bushy. I love it. I'm just going to put it up. And make sure it's going into that shape that I want. Put some of the same concealer again. Boy, I'm using a lot of that. I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand. I love that color. Pop a little bit on the back of my hand and then... I'm just going to get an angle brush and then just kind of we're not gonna chisel out the eye like completely but you see how I'm making it like kind of straight just cleaning it up
this Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Limitless Brown. And I just use this to kind of mark out where I'm going to want this kind of eyeshadow and stuff to be. I'm just going to keep this super neutral like something that I would actually wear. Which is why I want to do this tutorial because I'm kind of drawn to it if you use some of the natural shades. Glossier, Sky Paint, and s Sky Paint. Listen to me. Sky Wash in the shade Echo. And I'm going to trace that line to deepen it up. So now that those are laid out, I'm going to grab my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy Bronzer and I'm just going to soften that line and like bring it out, but I'm going to do, see, like I'm not going to get too rounded, I'm just going to keep it sleek. a darker I have this dark brown endless silky eye pen from pixie by Petra and it's in black cocoa and I'm just gonna go right on that line Now that the shadow and all of this is situated and we kind of have this shadowy pull out look, I'm going to also add a little bit of eyeliner right in here to kind of make my eyes a little bit more almond. So I just added a teensy beansy bit of black eyeliner to the inner corners and I'm just going to put mascara out on the edge here, kind of emphasize that cat look. out my perimeter considering I'm wearing orange I'm going to go in with the Glossier cloud paint in Dawn uh, and I am gonna go in with the plushy in cola from lime crime okay babes that is it hands up that is all i'm going to do for this makeup look because i don't know what the hell i'm doing let's just take one kind of final look and assess what we have going on so i really enjoy this kind of pulling out of the you know eyeshadow and everything to kind of create this foxy eye look i really do enjoy that especially with the colors that i use because i don't like too many kind of colorful looks whatever I like every day so this is a nice subtle sexy wink you know what I mean I really like it and I like the eyebrows I'm not gonna lie at first I was like what kind of confusion am I getting myself into these white girls are chopping off their eyebrows and listen I don't understand but I just took a little piece off brought it out a little bit and I really do like the look of that eyebrow that's a nice ass eyebrow just wonder if it's gonna turn into something like the 90s when it was like those pencil like thin eyebrows and it was disgusting but i didn't do too much i didn't do too much as well as that caviar stick what did you think about 
this new caviar stick did i blend it out too much is it okay what are your thoughts on this caviar stick is it too dark of a shade so that i try to get this ebony again i really don't know that is all i have for you babes today please let me know down below if you are going to be attempting this foxy eye makeup trend or not or if you think it's for the birds are you going to be brave enough to cut off a little bit of your eyebrow at the end but don't get scared just put a little bit of concealer shape out how you want the brow and then just tweeze the areas that you don't want kind of like a guy that's what i did anyway or just put concealer on and cover up them brows you know drag queens put on glue and concealers and powders and they just make a whole new face so there are ways to get this trend without cutting your eyebrows off Thank you so much for being here today, and I hope you are safe and well, feeling good, and until the next video, I will catch you babies later. Bye.